Hey, welcome back, Rogue Techers. We are sitting at Cirillios here on the border between the Lyran Commonwealth and House Merrick. Um, what we're going to try and do today, if you notice the Free Worlds League has got 41% of the planet and the Commonwealth has got 59%, we're going to take a mission that's going to help um, the Free Worlds League possibly take this planet back. So we're going to go to contracts here. We decided last time at the end of the episode that we're going to take weapon shipment here. It's got good payout, it's an ambush convoy. We're, we've got a lot of long-range weapons. I think we're more than capable of being able to handle this at two skulls. So we're going to negotiate. We're going to go for maximum uh, um, salvage. And what we're looking for out of this one is like heat exchangers, um, things like that. Anything that's going to add to our heat sinking for our uh, new Hunchback and Vindicator. So we're going to set up our uh, Lance like we normally do. We're going to put uh, Vindicator in the Hunchback and Ground Zero in the Vindicator. And let's deploy and see how we make out. All right, here we go. Rainy day. Okay, vehicles moving along a road. And I th where are they going to, though? Hmm. Let's have a look here. So they're coming along this road here. Probably heading this way to this location. So we got to cut them off in here, probably. Now this is what? What kind of train do we have? So we got... Nice hills to cover our approach, but it also blocks line of sight, sight to the vehicles. So I think we're going to come straight in here and try and cut them off right in the passway here. Hopefully using the, the hills here to our advantage to block um, line of sight from their escorts. Uh, I don't know how fast the vehicles are. Two skulls, usually they're not that fast. So we're going to reserve, let them go. So it looks like they've got probably a couple of light vehicles. Don't know. But we're not going to wait. We're going to move height up a little bit. I think I want to see if I can get some eyes on early enough. Now, height is going to have a bit of an issue here with five flamers. I, got you. I mean, this right isn't there, the ideal mech to be right. taking on this mission. Um, and this fire starter, as we begin to progress, is rapidly going to become useless. So we've got an unknown mech and two vehicles so far. So the more mechs, the better. Looking for exchangers, an ultralight gyro would be nice. Um, clan endo steel or ferro fibers would be great. Uh, let's Waiting move. Forward. I don't think we're going to engage. Let's wait. Let's wait and see what they do. Let's see if any of these guys decide to come up over on the crest of this hill. So I'm thinking it's probably it's mostly medium vehicles. Maybe, maybe one heavy vehicle. Okay, we're going to reserve again. I don't. I think this mech might be a light one. Okay, so it's mostly probably mediums. So let's get... I got. I think I've got better sense. No, uh, Vanskater's got the go. better sensors, I think. So, definitely our medium lance is really slow here. Which is okay, because it looks like they're moving really slow as well. So let's get our missile system a little closer. And ground zero a little closer. Alright. So let's see what they do here. We're going to reserve again. Another mech coming up. Another light mech. I'm wondering if we get any clan outfitted vehicles. That would be kind of good too. Like if we could find a clan vehicle with uh, LRM-20s on it. The clan LRMs weigh half as much as the inner sphere LRMs, so we'd be able to put two LRM 20s on the hunchback, and then we could consider maybe even uh, changing our uh, layout on the uh, trebuchet. Okay, let's reserve right back to the end here. So we got five mediums and two lights. Now the question is, is how do I want to engage this? I don't think I can get eyes on need something chief can i oh i can from over here somewhere right there let's take a first shot at their vehicle so we don't have to worry about heat heating here we're going to have basically um, flat heat oh this is a regulator we need to kill this guy so hopefully we hit him in the side and we can take him out so our lrm20 has a really great chance to hit ppc not so much but we're going to fire everything Come on, come on, come on. Nope. 
Okay, that rotary five. That's one of the issues here. We gotta get rid of that guy. What are your orders, Skipper? Um, let's get you to sprint over here. Affirmative, Commander. Okay. Why don't you on the other side of the road? Now. We can target from up here, which is good. Um, so we're going to move up here, get a full view of the battlefield, and then we're going to unload on that guy down here. So let's fire everything. The shot. Wow, his lasers really missed. There we go. Nice. So the Rotary 5, that's, that's cool. a possibility for the uh, Hunchback as well. We pick up a Rack 5. Orders. Now, can I see anybody with this guy? I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just one second. We certainly can. We can only see one vehicle though, but we're going to move out up, move. up over here. Get that straggler. What is this guy here? Light SRM carrier. See, these are the guys you got to kind of worry about sometimes. If they get a good shot off on you. On it. Like the regular one. SRM carriers have got like 10 or 11 SRMs. It's, it's just insane. They just park beside you and blow you up, right? So we got a locust. Yep, thanks for coming out, buddy. Thanks for showing up. All right, we're just going to reserve height. There's nothing much he can do right away unless he wants to get right in the middle of everybody and I'm not ready to do that just yet. Urban mech. So this is the guy we're going to want to get height on right away. So let's sprint it up. We're going to move right up beside him, be able to identify the rest of these vehicles. I'm really hoping there's no Saladin. Tiger T1, King Scorpion. Oh, Epona Prime. We want that guy. So this guy has got clan pulses. But I really want to shut this guy down. The AC-10 can do a lot of damage. Let's do this first. So he's shut down now. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Okay, let's see what they do. Opponent Prime is the next target. Thanks for coming out. Okay, so yes, Flatliner man. first, because he's got good line of sight on this guy. And this guy doesn't have, uh, he's got a fair bit of armor. I really need to hit with most stuff then. So let's move here. I'm walking we here. can fire everything. Let's hope we get lucky here. So two laser hits. And a crack ton of missiles, but not enough. So I'm thinking Height's going to need to indirect fire that guy. So Locust I don't want to go after. Um, ground Zero. Can I get into a position? I can attack the Locust, but I think I need to get ahead of this convoy with my back. big gun. So we're going to move over here. Uh, we're going to end our turn. I think Vane Skater, yeah, I keep, keep saying Height for the uh, Hunchback, but it's Vane Skater. He's going to be taking on... Oh, the opponent's moving. Oh, going for a back shot. Smart move. Thanks for coming out, buddy. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, he tried. What's up, Bob? He tried. So, let's just do a sprint. Turn our torso. Gonna use the LRMs, and I think... How is this guy making? He's not doing well. So we're going to fire the LRMs at him. Hopefully we get a couple hits. Not enough. Ah, well. It's all right. Battle mech power up detected. Okay. Comfort. So height, you need to get out of there. So let's move you back around here again. Let's go this way. Going to park over there for now. He's got great speed, but he's just great for, like, slowing people down. Ah, three hits. Nice. I mean, nice for him, not for me.
So, what do you got? Ultra 5. And not that much armor. And you don't have that much armor either, Tiger. Uh, Epona is almost down. We hit everywhere but where we wanted to hit, looks like. So let's move... Um, I'm receiving can we you. see the opponent from where we are? No, we can't. So we're going to move forward over here. And let's target the front of the tiger. Hmm. Let's go for the convoy first. They seem to be moving pretty quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts in the Yes. He's a friend from work. So let's sprint it. We want to give it as much evasion as we can. Let's get right up on this rock. Up on the rock here. So what do we got back here? Myrmidon. PPC. Fair bit of armor. So we're going to unload on the King Scorpion. And maybe we get lucky and get a side. Let's fire. Yep. Warning. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Nice. So they've got... Two more left in the convoy. No, nope, one more in the convoy. So I guess this opponent must be a uh, a support. Oh, nice shooting! I want those clan those clan pulse lasers. Receiving you. So we're gonna sprint, and we're gonna go up here. And we are going to shoot two different targets. We're going to shoot the urban mech, and we're going to shoot this guy, the Epona. We're going to use, I think, probably the missiles on. Two shots on the side, maybe. Whatever the missile chance to hit on B here. 24. 33 with the PPC. Really? Nope. Let's target the urban mech then. Targeting for an L strike. Okay, so the AC-10 is gone. Don't have to worry about that now. Score. Critical hit. So I don't have to worry about that. So I think what we'll do this turn... Pew! This turn we're going to get height on the Epona. You can cover some good ground and get evasive. We can finish the Epona off. So let's move into here. Double time. Let's go. Stay behind the hill. Everything on the Epona. Come on, come on. Looks like we got one. Yep, there we go. Nice. Fragged a vehicle. You certainly did, boy. Now, I don't know what those two mechs are coming behind us. Um, not really worried. I'm hoping they're mediums. Thanks for coming out, boy. We got two more guys. I think it's these two guys back here. I don't know where you're going, dude. I hope you got jump jets. Can they actually cross there? They can if they go down here. Oh, there's three. That's a light mech. Okay, well. Commander. Whatever. So we don't really need to worry too much about what they've got right now. Roger that. So we're going to move back. We're just walking it back. And we're going to get rid of this Myrmidon so we don't, we're at least have the convoy destroyed. Okay, two heavy hits. Okay, Van Skater. Damage is minor, Commander. Yes, Commander. Let's walk you back. Affirmative. And shoot in the Myrmidon again. Nice. Okay, so now our next target is the urban mech. I know he's got a PP weapon left, but uh, I I'm think here. we can probably kill him. Just going to move just enough to get a little bit of evasion. Do we get another blip down there? No, just three. Alright, let's just shoot this guy. 
Torso gone. I think I hit something good. Yeah, I was hoping for a knockdown, but that's fine. Let's see what they do. Well, at least he's not... I mean, he's got balls. Let's just give him that. I mean, he's... Skipper. He's fighting hard. I mean, it's not doing anything, but... At least uh, his family will be able to say he didn't bail out. One, two, three, four, five. Welcome to my alpha strike. Battle mech power up detected. So once again, Height going after the Locust only because he hadn't fired yet. Shutting him down so he can't fire. He's got to spend his turn to restart. That's the whole purpose of doing that. Oh, so there is four. There are four lights. Okay. Maybe we get a wolf found or something in there. That would be nice. So, once again, they're not going to be able to see us from where we are, except for maybe height. So we're going to move. Going? Just going to walk it over this way a little bit. Location finish these guys up. So let's go after the urban mech. And we'll just go with the PPC. Wow. The heat on this guy is real. It's just fire. Bye-bye. All right. Ground zero. Just going to walk over. Hopefully we're going to have enough turn for height, enough turns for height to cool down, or sorry, uh, for uh, the um, main skater to cool down. Um, let's fire both of these. I got Torso, leg, arm. Reporting critical hit. Down to one. Flatliner. Let's just walk serve. him over here. And what we're going to do is just use our lasers, try and take the other torso. Probably end up killing him, but he's got, what, 18 left in the center? Got it, Commander. Nope. This just in. Critical, Critical hit. hit. Didn't bail out either, too. Oh, they're reserving. Hmm. What was that? Did that look like a locust? Maybe a dagger? I don't know. Find out in a second. Medium laser. Maybe a spider? It's not moving very fast. So let's sprint maybe to the forest here. And we've got a locust and a spider. I called it. So medium to ER medium. Okay, let's go after this guy. Hopefully we hit uh -huh. with everything, but we'll see. Four hits. Nice. Let's see what this guy does. Watch the flank. That's all right, buddy. He's just getting up. He ain't doing anything. Except for shutting down. That's what he's doing. Orders. Okay, so we're going to move to here. Affirmative. Embrace. I'm ready. And Flatliner, since he's so heat neutral, it's just going to back up slightly. Rolling. Going to shoot this guy in the back with the lasers, or in the side. Oh, uh, jeez. Just go for his head. He's going to die anyway. Confirmed. Goodbye. Are there none who can stand before me? Apparently not. Ready for so, Height, or Rain Skater, sorry. I, you know what? I keep calling him Height because the Hunchback. H. Maybe I should switch the pilots around. Alright. Well, no. Yeah, maybe we should. I don't know. Anyway, so, Height's turn. Confirmed. Uh, we're going to move over here into the forest. Not going to go very far, but just far enough. And we're going to use uh, three flamers on him. We just need to hit with one. There's the one. Enough to shut him down. Now, I'm not sure why those guys aren't going anywhere. Um... Cool. Hey there. Sure, buddy. Whatever you want to do. Move 
Board to receive. Let's try the new weapon platform mode. It's not really fair shooting against these small mechs. Locking in all Head hit, pilot injured, knockdown, another injury. And hey, flatline. Let's get up here. Let's see what we're dealing with on that side. So we've got a Commando 1C, Panther A lag. Let's fire on this guy. Now, I'm not sure why they're just sitting there. Head hit, nice. Ready for orders. And I think I need to sprint this way too. On the way there, we'll finish the up this guy. So the problem with having only big weapons is that when you're trying to like pinpoint kill something with very low armor, whoops, you don't have the ability to do it. <laughs> That's a problem. Okay, he's finally moving forward a little bit. Is he? Is he still on the hill there? I can't tell. Yes, he is. All right, height. Um, let's just walk up and say hello to the spider. I got you. Spider in the height. Oh, his back is to him. What? Firing. Not exactly sure why that. Why he would do that. There's four hits. He's shut down. Good night, sweet prince. Battle mech power up detected. I love that the missile sounds just travel, <laughs> travel by you. It's kind of cool. How's it going? Okay, height. Let's. Uh, or, Jesus, I gotta stop that. Vane skater. Let's get up here. Full speed, no target. We're gonna split targets. We're gonna target you, and you, and we're gonna put the missiles on B. I copy. Bye bye. So even though we don't have, you know, a multitude of weapons, the one thing we do have is the, the heavy punch and a really high rate of hitting. So these light mechs are just really no battle. Targeting for an alpha strike. Critical hit, Commander. Which is why I was hoping for medium mechs. You really can't judge how good your loadouts are until you're facing mechs that have got basically the same weight as you, same class, same everything, right? So let's uh, finish this up here. So we're going to just blast this guy. I'm not really worried about the commando at the moment. Head hit, pilot injured, torso gone. He's not falling. Really? All right, buddy. Hi, Skipper. Full speed. God, no the speed target. in this fire spider is ridiculous. Oh, you got a target. He's right here. Doesn't have a torso left. So maybe we do an offensive push. Let's try for a head hit, maybe. Fire everything. If we don't get him, we don't get him. Oh, we got a head hit. What do you know? Enemy eliminated. Thank you. Stand up and die. Still got his auto cannon though. I think he's got auto cannon and missiles? Or laser? What has he got? Doesn't really matter. AC2 and a yeah, medium laser. He lost the AC2. Waiting for so I don't even need to move. Just going to fire at him right here. Locking in all weapon systems. And is that a knockdown? No. Oh my god, I didn't kill him, really. Really? Um, we want the salvage? Probably not. Um, yeah, probably not. Alright, cool. So that was 12 vehicles, or basically six mechs and six vehicles. 
and we did very well. We were facing eight guys first, no problem, and then the other four were really simple. So against the lighter uh, units, our mechs are really well suited. So we didn't lose anything. Let me double check. I don't think we lost anything. No, I don't even think. We took minor damage, I think, and that was it. Vindicator took a few missile hits, and that was about it. So we've got tons of parts. Uh, we don't want that. Let's take the AC-5 rotary. And clan medium pulse lasers. Let's throw those in there. Let's see what else we have down here, just in case there's something good. Street 4. Um, the medium pulse laser, though. Breaching shot cockpit. That would be nice. Any double heat sinks? No. And that's it. So I'm thinking it's probably f easier to find a cockpit TC than it is to find clan medium pulse lasers at this point. So I'm thinking this is the way we go. Rack 5. Do we need the Rack 5 though? What's the weight on this? 14 tons. For potentially 160 damage though. That means I need to ditch the LRM-20. And most likely the PPC at the same time. Um, just because of the sheer amount of ammo you gotta put in, you gotta put at least, what, three tons of ammo to get, yeah, three tons of ammo to get at least um, 11 rounds of, 11 turns of firing. Um, so it's 17 tons technically. And does it does does 160 if they all hit, and the LRMs do 80 and 74 for the PC, PPC, so it's 100. And, so this would actually do more damage for less tonnage. So let's keep that. Let's confirm this. So locust part one, two, three panther parts, spider and urban mech, no big deal. We got the ultra five too, which is nice. Um, anything else good? Heat sink. Eh. All right, seventeen and a half thousand, not bad. So we did pretty well. Um, once again, it's really difficult to know how well you do when you're not really fighting things that are relatively equal to you in strength. Um, let's have a look at star map, and we'll see what kind of percentages we changed on this planet. Now I don't know if it's really any. So. Oh, Lyran Commonwealth has lost this planet. They also lost this one. So, does it happen over time, I guess? I don't know if it was us that changed this or not. But the Circinus Federation has taken back their homeworld which is excellent. That's really interesting. Okay, well, it is what it is. All right, that's another episode of Rogue Tech, and when we come back next time, we're gonna uh, maybe travel to a new system. I'm not really sure if we're gonna upgrade to the Rack 5 right away on the, on the um, Hunchback. We might do another mission first, and then when we travel into a new planet, I uh, might upgrade to the Rotary Auto Cannon 5 just to save the amount of time it takes. So if we're traveling anyways, we might as well be re repairing and refitting during that time. So yeah, uh, until then, I shall see you later.